So I'm trying to get all of this honey um, depleted wax um, ready for uh, some kind of melting and cleaning. And uh, hopefully uh, I'm not going to demonstrate how to get stung by bees. But the important thing is that they're totally focused on what they're doing. And for the most part, the only time I get stung is when I pick one of them up and they still happen to be alive. So, lots of dead bees here. I'm trying to pick out enough of the, the wax. Um, I think that's worth just throwing into the bucket here. So all I'm doing is collecting the, the wax and melt it in the sun. So much for killer bees. So I'm dedicating this session, this segment, to Irv. Irv, since you think I'm crazy, now you have proof. <clears throat> and once again, I'm just tossing the uh, the wax in here. I'm going to melt that later today in, in the sun somehow. Don't know how I'm going to do it. This is not the way to do honey harvesting or um, preparation of beeswax. This is simply because I screwed up yesterday and didn't keep them in a closed bucket. So now I've got this mess. Lots of dead bees. I suppose I could eat a few of them. I'm not going to do that. You've heard of the bee, the dog whisperer, maybe, maybe I'm the bee whisperer, I don't know. I did get stung about a dozen, a few dozen times in the fingers yesterday, simply because I was picking things up, and uh, like I said, they were alive, and didn't like that, and then they were dead. So, right now that's how much wax I've got. Um, I'm going to finish cleaning off this part, get rid of all these dead bees, and then uh, probably take that bucket and dump it on here. Um, the buckets create a um, hazard for all the bees. You'll notice they're all clumped up over here. The ones on the bottom are drowning in honey. Nothing I can do about it other than get the stuff out so they don't drown. And uh, I was saying something earlier about all these dead bees. I don't know if they're good to eat, but I'll bet you I could eat one <laughs> dead, not alive, maybe uh, dead. Crunchy, tastes just like chicken. <clears throat> Goodness knows what that flavor is. Not unpleasant, but yeah.
occasionally I'll get one that wants to explore. I try to keep my mouth shut. And when they get in my face, I either will just turn my face away. There's been some discussion about research that bees can actually recognize faces. I don't know, but um, I do know that I've rarely had any problems with the bees just being here.